Hi there, my name is Duncan Autry and I am a Conflict Transformation Catalyst and I am the Chief Transformation Officer at Spoke and Wheel, where we believe that great relationships are what make great companies. Welcome to the video series on the essence of transforming conflict. This video is about speaking and it's one of two videos, speaking and listening, where I discuss the value of um, using communication to transform conflict from into collaborative experiences. So, you know, why is this important? Why do we need to learn how to speak effectively? Well, you know, you maybe have had the experience where you've tried to share something that was important to you and it seemed like the other person just really didn't quite understand or seemed to care as much as you would hope they would. Um, maybe you had the experience of sharing an idea with someone and they got defensive um, uh, about what you're trying to tell them or maybe they just didn't understand like why you cared about something so much or why you were saying something maybe you felt like you needed to raise your voice or something well I just want to say you're not alone I've been there we've all been there communication can be really hard sometimes but it's also super important for you to bring your voice into the world it's not only important for you because you um, the only way you're going to get what you want in this world is to ask for it. But also, the world needs you to be a full participant for this whole thing to work at all. Honestly, the only thing that's happening in this whole reality is a bunch of people bringing their ideas and then working them on them together. So it's really important that you feel confident to be able to bring your voice into the world. And um, it's also great to be able to do that in a way that other people can hear you and that actually want to collaborate with you to help you get those needs met. So how do we do this? Um, in the first video, I explained that the heart of conflict and actually the heart of transforming conflict is to get below the surface and discover the underlying needs and interests that are um, at the heart of a situation rather than the actions or strategies that people um, tend to get uh, stuck on. I had the, We looked at this model here of the iceberg where actions and strategies are what we tend to focus on, but by getting below the surface to the needs and the values and interests, we're able to figure out what we really care about, and then we can find ways of working to get these things met, and then we can co-create strategies. This um, was connected to the first of the three rules of transforming conflict, which says that the conflict is not about what it's about. Um, the second rule of conflict says that whoever is involved in the conflict is going to have to be involved in the solution or it's not going to work. And this is where the communication comes in. This video is going to, about speaking will tell you how to share your underlying needs and values with the other person in a way that works well. Um, and then don't miss the second video where you can learn about listening so you can discover what's really at the heart of the situation for the other people who are involved. Um, so basically, the goal of effective speaking is to say something that's inarguable. You want to be able to say something to someone that they can't disagree with. It's not going to make them defensive. And if you do it really well, it'll invite them to want to collaborate with you and to try to find a solution together um, and to help them meet your needs. Um, so what we want to do, the first step is to just pay attention, to speak from our own experience. And what we want to do is we want to be speaking about our personal observations, um, not any projections. We want to be speaking about our own feelings. We want to be speaking about our own needs. And then also recognizing that if we're making requests, th these are our requests. They aren't demands. Consent always applies. People can always say no. So what does this look like? If you think about needs, as we said, this is the heart of the conflict. Um, you want to be able to communicate, like, what are those underlying needs? If you would like a link to a list of universal human needs, you can find those in the description of this video. But the reason why needs are important is because we all have the same needs. We can usually agree that this is important because we can recognize that we all want to meet those needs for each other. So then we want to talk about feelings. Feelings function as the bridge between what's going on in the outside world and our needs. Um, and feelings are uh, kind of like a barometer to give you a sense of whether or not something's going well or not. If your needs are being met, then you're having good feelings. If your needs are not being met, 
then you're having more uncomfortable um, feelings. And then observations, this is really important to notice that when you talk about what is happening, you want to do it in a way that everyone can agree with, that is specific and is objective in such a way that you're trying to set up the situation so that you and the other person both agree about what you're talking about at least. Even if you have different experiences with it, at least you're on the same page about what is even happening um, and why you're even having a conversation. And then requests are on the outside here because the requests should be made based on all this information together. All the things that are happening, all the feelings and the underlying needs, um, and not just yours, but the other person's. Which brings us, of course, back to listening, but we'll get there in the next video. So let me just make an example um, of what this might look like if you put it all together. Most people will do it in this order, well, they'll make an observation, they'll share their feelings, they'll share their needs, and then they'll share their requests. So I might, for example, um, speak to my housemate in such a way. I might wake up and say, and say, hey, when I woke up this morning, I saw um, dirty dishes on the counter and some dirty pan on the stove. And I was frustrated and annoyed. And also, um, kind of, I felt really stressed out because I was in a hurry. And the reason why this was important to me is because I really want us to have mutual respect in this house. And I would love some consistency and predictability when I wake up in the morning. But I also have value for generosity. So I did clean up your dishes for you. Um, but I would like to make a request that we try to clean up our dishes at least before we go to bed. And if that doesn't work for you, um, I would love to find a time later today to have a conversation about it. The idea here is to include everyone in the solution. And you want to be able to do it in such a way that invites people in to participate with it. Of course, once you speak, you're going to have to listen. And that's why I encourage you to listen to the next video of this series so that you can discover what the other person's observations, feelings, needs, and requests are. In the description of this video, you can find a handout where there's much more detailed information about how to make these kinds of statements and speak up for yourself, as well as listening, as well as that list of feelings and needs that we mentioned. You can find that here, or you can find it at our website, which is spokeandwheel.co. And also, if you're in a conflict, or if you would like any help with a conversation, um, we offer virtual facilitation and mediation. We offer trainings that can help you and your team transform conflict into collaboration. And you can contact us um, and schedule a free call. We would love to talk to you about what's happening. You can email us at hello at spokeandwheel.co or you can schedule a call with us with our calendar link below this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please enjoy the video about listening and have a wonderful day.